Let's go, McGovern. And in he goes. And in we go as well. Let us be on our way through this temple of water and, f and find out what is afoot. Hmm. Some interesting little buttons here. Don't know why I can't step on that one. Oh, that's why, because Gemma blocked the way. So, now what? Hey you, where's Luca? Hey, how rude. Luca, it's nice to see you again. <laughs> Welcome. What? You mean this girl is 200 years old? Okay, this is a bit weird because... The, uh. I've had this several times in the last episode, but they seem to cut off the conversation just r at the right moment where basically you think the conversation is going to continue, but it doesn't. Anyway, I came down here because I wanted to know if there was anything we can steal while the other two were not interested in continuing the plot, so to speak. Hmm... Doesn't seem to be anything here unless uh, it's hidden somewhere, like a secret passage or something. But no, it doesn't seem to be. Also, we're kind of clipping through the the edge there. No idea why that's a thing. Anyway, let's get back upstairs. Talk about the plot, guys. Also, hey, don't mind me, guys. I just finished just. Checking to see if I can ransack the place. Luca, monsters are invading villages. He just fought one. I know. The ebb and flow of water brings me news from around the world. Mana's power is growing weak. That's why this boy was able to take the sword. When he did, the balance of mana in this area shifted and monsters revived. There are evil monsters working to steal away the power of the Mana Sword. By defeating those evil monsters, you can restore the sword's mana power. The power is kept in orbs. Looks like it regains some power from the Mantis Ant. There must be more hidden orbs, which hold, more, which hold mana power for the sword. And you must find someone who can forge the sword to release its stored power. Well, that sounds like a very easy task if I've heard one. And again, they stop the conversation mid-conversation. Once I was one of Luca's followers, I studied the power of mana which sustains everything in this world. As per all RPG tropes. Do you say anything else? No, you do not. Good to know. Gemma, watch out for the Empire. It seeks to obtain the Mana Fortress. You mean that one that destroys the world in that fairy tale? That's no fairy tale. The Empire is trying to awaken it. The Empire is going to unlock the seals from the world's Mana Seeds. A bunch of strangers have already started snooping around this palace. Something is very wrong in Pandora. Could the Empire be involved? I don't know. Gemma, see the King of Pandora and tell him to be cautious. Right, I'm on my way. McGubbin, you go to the cave called Gaia's Navel. Ugh. Dwarves live in that cave. Oh, whew. 
You had me worried there, Gemma. I thought you were gonna tell me to get into a very s uh, you know, you know what? Never mind. Let's just, let's just, let's just ignore that. Otherwise, we'll be treading through areas that certain people might want to be involved in, but others might not. Anyway, <clears throat> they make good weapons and know all about weapons. Oh, hey! Instantly, we know of a guy who can saw a sword. Good. They may know somebody who can reforge and empower the sword of yours. As your sword's power and skill level increase, so too will your ability. And off he goes. We will see to him again at some point. Now interesting, the bridge is out here. Magugu? It's McGubbing, miss. I don't care. The world is more important right now. What are you so scared of? Well, uh, the sword helped us, so I'm not really scared of that. The fortress has me concerned. Eons ago, the ancients used their mana fortress in their final battle. But even they could not control mana. In the end, it was your sword that saved the world. Survivors rebuilt the world to honor mana. That is the mana sword, but its power is gone. It's used its last ounce of power to summon you. But why me? Why did it choose me? Come on, McGubbin. Don't be so modest. You have every makings of a hero. After all, you survived that great fall from the waterfall. Only a true hero from the Secret of Mana series could do that. Ask, ask unnamed hero from Final Fantasy Mystic Adventure. I mean, Final Fantasy Adventure. Or Qu Mystic Quest, as it's called in Europe. Again, confusing series naming conventions. Let's not get into that again. I don't know. I know! But now, you must re-energize it. Well, considering we're in nose deep in this, I like to think McGuppin is the type of person who would basically want to get out of this as soon as possible by not exasperating the problem, by being part of the problem. So I think he would want to get into fixing this so he can get back to everything as normal as soon as possible. So, no problem. What should I do? You must become a hero who is worthy of the sword. You mean falling from a great height is not enough? Jeez, who knew that uh, being a hero had such a steep uh, experience level necessary to become one? I mean, what else do we have to do? I mean, we already got down to trying to look for things to nick down to a pat as well. Okay. Enough. Hold the sword up to the seed. And the seed? For a moment, the seed and the sword become one. You have sealed the mana seed within your sword. Now the mana power from the seed will be sent only to you and your sword. You'll be able to gain power from the mana seed wherever you are. The world has eight palaces. Oh my goodness, we got a fair few places to go then. Visit them all and receive the power from them all. Take the spear with you. Mana Guardians used it long ago. Hey, our second weapon of the game. And that's right, folks, just in case I forgot to mention, we do get multiple weapons in this game. The spear is the second weapon, which we'll get into soon enough. It will grow and regain its power just like your mana sword. There must be more weapons like the spear in the world. Find them. I'll restore you. Hey! Healing! Oh, and a free save as well. Might as well save at this point. First, head for Gaia's navel like Gemma said. Look for the underground palace. To reach Gaia's navel, head south through the realm of Pandora. Okay, that's good to know. And here's our first weapon. The spear does only one extra damage, but I might as well show it off 
just in case. Okay, what about you, Seed? What do you have to say about the spear? I'm guessing he likes the spear. I mean, he gave me a beaming smile, that Seed. Now, one thing I've always thought about Luca here, her sprite, when she looks frontways, doesn't look good. But when you look at her from the side, she's fine. No, we do not need saving. So yeah, at the side, she looks fine, but anytime she looks forwards, it doesn't look good. Okay, you might as well close this side up as well. After all, we don't want this to be a security risk or anything. I mean, are you sure you don't want the buttons on your side from now on? I mean, it, I mean, it looks cool and all, but, um, it... I mean, this might be a security risk if people, you know, come in uninvited. No? You sure? Okay. And off we go. We have a quest in to do. Always intrigued me that this area does not have a... Uh, this, pl this place is considered safe because... Rat because McGubbin does not have his weapon out here. Now, the spear, while strong, yes, it's also very easy to miss with it because it requires a bit more, I would say finesse, but also requires accuracy with it. But you know what, we're going to train with it anyway, just so then we can get a bit more, well, ability with it let's put it that way uh, can we why can I not huh that was weird I couldn't go down for some reason and he's not going to be budging so ah that's interesting that basically when he shines the icon shines too so it makes me wonder if they take the sprite care to come over here sir Right, now that danger's out of the way, let's go. Help! Oh! And we got attacked by these guys? Help! Ouch! You do not move, just stay still. Oh, you're very lucky. You're going to be our main dish. Mm. Oh. Help! Let me go! Is this a thing from Potos, this whole help business? You look delicious. Shriek! Hey, the dancing has already begun. Let's join in. So conveniently to leave dinner in there. To boil and not get taken from us. Totally not gonna happen. Speak of the devil. Hey! Hey, you! What on earth are you doing, you idiot? Please help me. Also, that's fancy talk coming from you, considering. But you know what, we haven't got time to complain. Shh, quiet. Whoa! Okay, that's some strength on you. Remind me not to get you angry. Let's get out of here. I owe you my life. But what are you doing here? I've been searching for someone. For a second I thought you were him. A case of mistaken identity, huh? I guess I lose. Now wait a minute, I'm only joking. Look, I'm in a hurry. After all, uh, plot related stuff. You better get back to your home. Later. Hey wait! But I don't have a home. Left without even telling me her name. <sighs> I'm guessing this is what the sign was kinda foreshadowing for us. That we should have been careful with goblins. 
Right, let's just go on our way. We have Pandora to get to. And that's them taken care of. Well. Whoa! You know what, might as well take out that rabbi over here. I knew there would be a rabbi over here. Is there one over here too? No. Oh wait, there is. And we gained to level 4. That is very useful to have at this point in the game. And like a moron, I just got poisoned. Please tell me that it goes, it wears off. Oh, whew. Thank goodness for that. Now, because the spear is not have any cutting capability it means we can't cut through grass with it and it got whacked that flower also that was a very bad pun for a monster if I read that correctly a lullabud despite I think that's what it said anyway oh well let's be on our way dang we we, we, uh, we poked him too early and that's the mushroom gun. One interesting thing I will note about this game, though, is that, uh, is that the development uh, involved in this game was quite interesting for its time. Basically, the translation for this game apparently took 30 days. It kind of shows basically how uh, much more different. Uh, ooh, we got a weapon skill up. Basically shows how. Uh, as I was about to say, folks, it basically shows a a difference in how uh, seriously the uh, the translation efforts uh, go into video games these days compared to back then. Because thirty days is not a very lot to uh, work with for translating an entire video game. But interesting enough, because of the format of the text, uh, well, the font of the text, but also because of the uh, how much data the text takes up, basically the uh, translation had to be uh, cut down, essentially, to the bare minimum. So basically, most conversation lines had to be uh, put down to the bare minimum. Which is interesting to say the least. It also it also kind of hints to why the game's narrative seems a bit. Uh, I'm gonna say it like this: it flows in a very let's say a meander a meandering sort of way. And I mean that as like two different words: meander and meh. It's a meandering its way. Let's go into town. We have a uh, things to be in places to be doing. This is Pandora. I was told to let you pass through if you arrived. So Gemma of Tasnika is in the castle with our king. Oh, and I won't talk to the people in the town. Why? What's wrong with them? Surely they're nice and wonderful people. Hello, good sir. Okay, so I assume that you. Uh, had nothing to say for some reason? Whoa, a customer! Nothing much here though. Hmm, he's kind of right. There isn't very much to go with here. And I'm not sure if the Kung Fu suit would be of any use to us. So, we'll be back much later, just for reasons. Right. Let's go over here. Hey, God, what are you doing here? Ah, so you just end up over here instead of near the gate where you should be. Okay, let's go into a house. Grandma has grown senile and won't say a thing. Senile, you say? Well, Grandma looks to, uh be well herself some people are gathering at the ruins south of this town odd things have been happening ever since grandma goes there hello there and also hello there 
character sprite that is not going to be important in the slightest. That's way different from everybody else in, in this game. Okay, let's just keep going this way. We have an inn here, which is useful to know. We will not sleep here just yet. Because we still have places to go. Good evening! The master and his daughter are at the castle arranging her marriage. Arranging her marriage, huh? I wonder who they're talking about there. Nothing much. This game barely has anything to steal. Oh, hello there! What is with you people? You're all... Did a... Did a... Did a bad case of the cats taking your tongues happen? What is over here? Also, ominous statues. I'm starting to get the strange feeling something's deadly wrong here. Yep, something is deathly wrong here. Um, do none of you know a good conversation? Ah, this is your problem. You haven't got a conversation starter piece. Like, how about this statue over here? It's a very lovely statue. Uh, uh, you know what, we should probably leave. This place is not going to be important until much later in the game, actually, I, d I think. Uh, let's go over here. We have still have a few houses to check out, like this lovely mill. And this place is quite empty. Why are you talking to me? I don't know anything! Oh, that's why! Everyone is acting weird because they're trying to pretend they don't know anything! That explains a lot. No, seriously, it does not explain anything. And this is a weapon shop. Oh gosh, they got the merchant! And he probably had some awesome stuff to sell too! This is awful, his Zoras, they lost their will to live! I don't even know if that was even comprehensible what I just said, but I hope it was by recording standards. Help! My mama and papa! Talk to us. Talk to us, kid. Where? What's happened to Mama and Papa? Oh, good lord, no. I mean, how are the kids surviving this long? Is it, are the kids, like, feeding themselves? Or is someone coming around to feed the kids? I hope it's the latter, but good gosh. This is serious. Oh, not you as well. Don't you ever shut up. Oh, thank goodness you're not one of them. This is Pandora's castle. Okay, let's just head in here. We have a fair few people to talk to. I'm not kidding. There's a fair few people to talk to. Dialect's battle squad went up to the witch's castle, but hasn't returned yet. Most of the townspeople and soldiers have turned into the zo into zombies. My life is precious, and this place is dangerous, so I'm moving away. Well, it's not a bad idea, I guess. Actually, I've also been assigned to the witch hunt, but I didn't want to get hurt, so I pretended to be sick. Don't tell anyone! Of course, good sir, we will not oust you as a traitor to the crown! No, seriously, we will not oust you as traitor to the crown because, well, who wouldn't want to call in sick on such a occasion? It's like that one day of work you don't want to go in for. This is Pandora's castle. Right? Why are people in the southern ruins wearing strange masks? Because a nice fancy dress ball. Because a creepy cult. What do you think? 
the Empire attacked us once about 15 years ago. I wonder if Dylik is going to be back soon. He promised he'd play with me then. Have you ever seen an enormous tree called the Mana Tree? Well, I haven't. Good to know. Good to know you don't know anything about it. The witch up north must be up to no good. People are acting strangely recently. Oh, so when there's a strange cult about, blame a witch for it. That's the answer to everything, is it? This land has, has it, has had it. It has been cr cursed by a witch. And not have a cult in it. Sir Elman arranged for his daughter's marriage. I feel sorry for her. They should be upstairs now. I guess that's an important thing to, to note, huh? I sent something evil in the ruins to the south. Yeah, and I don't think the masks help, do they? Those The ruins to the south. Dad, you're impossible. I'll make my own decisions about my life. I'm gonna go and have my own life with blackjack and friends and such. Hey, it's the guy I saved. Say what? Say what? Say what? You're a swordsman. Huh? Oh, you mean this? This is great. I need your help. I helped you, didn't I? It's your turn. We're going to teach that witch a lesson. We're going to save Dyluk. But I've got to go to the underground palace. Later, later. Right, let's go. Uh. Oh, I'm McGovern. Oh, call me. I like this conversation. It's like, uh, it's just, it's like she's uh, forces the main protagonist to do what she wants instead of what you want. Please name this young lady. Right. So. Considering her strength, I've been mulling over this for a long while, but she shall be named the only strong name I can think of from the top of my head, of course. Just because, well, only special characters can be called this name. Introducing Nyroth, the Armbreaker. Oh yes, she is going to be called Nyroth the Armbreaker. Who wouldn't marry this woman? I know I would, just because I would want to keep my arm. Both of them. Okay, you can call me Nyroth the Armbreaker. And she joined us. That's right, we have Nyroth with us now. So, let's, let's check this room that she came in from. Nyroth! I hate you, Dad! I'm not returning to this place, ever. Nyroth! I hate you, Dad! You mean we can just go back in there constantly? <laughs> just to get that same conversation? That's ridiculous. Okay, there's nothing in here, sadly. Hmm. Let's check in here. Oh! Magugu? Uh, it's Magubbin. Whatever, Magujubu. You're here. I suppose you've seen what has happened to the people. The witch Eleni is draining people's energy. Uh, no, I think it might be something to do with... These people are going to the ruins in the southern part of this town. Yeah, I think that's more to do with it. I'll have a look around. Head for Gaia's navel. Um, you know, you're partially right. The country of Tasnika is our ally, and its citizens are friends. You can't enter, but I'm already in. How can I not enter if I've already entered it? Yeah, you're just saying the same thing. Again! I've already entered this place! Oh dear. 
Up to now, this has been such a peaceful country. Expelled from your village? Well, this realm too is having problems. It would probably be best if you also left this country right away. Well, that's not gonna be good for real estate, is it? If you... If you're just gonna be like that. What a nightmare. The people in my country are acting like zombies. The troops I sent to fight the witch were captured. What? You and Dad made Dylan go to the witch's castle? How dare you try to drive Dylan and me apart? How rude. Be that way. Let's go, Magubu. It's McGubbin. Whatever, my juju. Hey there, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are, and as always, take care of yourselves.